Hi, my name is Tiago Gaspar and I'm a sales specialist in Siemens Norway. Today I will be presenting to you TA Selection Tool, a software that you can use when you start up your project. But I'll quickly finish my workout and then jump into that. So, welcome to this video about TA Selection Tool. TA Selection Tool is a software from Siemens it's totally free and aims to help you selecting and configuring the equipment for your automation project. Selection tool is offered in two different ways. A desktop version that can be downloaded and used offline on your computer and a cloud version that can be accessible from anywhere and it doesn't require any previous installation. So in this video, I will be using an example of a project where I need to select a redundant PLC and an IO station. For this, I will start by going to new device and we have immediately a list with all the different equipment we can choose. And as we can see, we can select controllers, IO systems, panels, IPCs, software for automation, power supplies, anything. So I will start by selecting the CPUs I need for my project. So I go to controllers. And in controllers, as I want to use the new RNH CPUs, and these CPUs belong to the 1500 uh, family, I will just go straight there. And here, as you can see, we start by the properties of our CPU. Here, if we know, for example, that we need to use motion control, we can select yes. In my case, I want to find the redundancy to use, so I'll have to tick the box for redundancy. And when I go to configure, you'll see that I have immediately two racks. This is because when you select the PLC, the selection tool will give you already all the equipment for both uh, CPUs. You'll get uh, everything in, in uh, double. When we have the the CPUs here, and we don't know which one to choose. We have, for example, a small eye icon that we can just go with mouse over, and then we read the information about the CPU. This is a very like a summary of the different CPUs. For example, the 1513R, 1515R, or the 1517H. If we need to read more about each CPU, for example, if I'm not 100% sure how the 1515R uh, is. Below here, we see what we have. So for the CPU, we can go directly to the support, Siemens uh, support pages. So we just press here and we go directly there. So what we do here is we drag and drop the CPU to the slot in the, in the rack, the first slot. And as you can see, Below here, we have already the list with mounting rail, CPU, and under the CPU, we have the memory card. If we don't want this memory card, we can just right-click, change accessories, and we have a list of all the different memory cards available. And we can say, for example, we need a 24 megabyte. Press OK, and this will be updated for uh, both uh, CPUs. Here. Yeah. So that this is uh, all we need for the CPUs, and as you can see, if we go down to the order list, we have already um, the list of all the equipment we, we chose. We have two mounting rails, two CPUs, and two memory cards. Under the project, we can see the same. We have the 1500 CPU. If we want to make any changes, we can just go on projects, press again here, and go to configuration, and then we have available our uh, our CPU. So here, if we press, for example, in slot number two, we can see that we cannot add any I/O cards. So for these CPUs, it's not possible to have I/O cards connected. So for that, we need to have an I/O station, and that's the thing we're going to do now. We go again to a new device. We choose IO systems. 
and under IO systems, we have again a lot of options, but I know I want uh, ET200 SP. We do the same thing. We can go directly to configuration and here for, um, for using the RNH CPUs, we need to, to have a high feature um, interface module. So we can just drag and drop. And we can choose what type of bus adapter we want. We can just go with RJ45. Okay. And then we can start adding our IO cards. So let's say, for example, we have, um, again, like, uh, yeah, just like the CPUs, we have the small eye icon. We can read about there's small information about each card, or we can go to we can go to the support pages and read more. We have information about uh, certificates or any other manuals you can find here. So let's say we need a standard input card. Place one of each, and it will start by We'll choose a base unit uh, for you. We don't need to, to uh, worry with that. The only thing we can decide is that here we need to start with a, a potential group, with a new potential group. It will not give you that the, the option. But when we choose a second card, let's choose, for example, uh, the O4 standard. Which uh, slot I want. So I go here to standard place, and as you see, it also adds uh, a white base unit. If you don't want the white base unit, you right click, change accessories, forward potential group, and it will change. So we can do the same slot number three. We can go in analog input. We can have, let's say, let's add all standard cards. Again, changing to forwarding. And number four, we can have analog output. We can change again the accessories and have everything forward. So after doing this, we can go back to our project and see what we have. So we have one uh, redundant CPU and one I.O. station. From here, um, we can go to the order list. And in the order list, we have access to everything that we selected. So we have all the cards, all the base units, CPUs. And if we are ready to um, order the uh, equipment, we can just export to industry mall. So we press export to industry mall. And it will take us directly to the to industry mall. So we just have to log in. And after logging in, you will see all the equipment that we have selected. Here we can see um, the prices for the equipment and if we have any discounts and we can see like the whole, the total cost of this, uh, this, uh, material that I want to order. And then you just press here and continue your order. Now I don't want to order, so I'm just going to close. Um, of course, you can, you don't need to uh, export right away and finish your project here. If you want, you, you can save your project and use it later. So, and a good thing about saving a project is you can save it on the cloud. 
this is the de desktop version, by the way, that I'm using. And if you save it on the cloud, you will um, later can I, you can I later access on the cloud version of the selection tool. So this is all the projects that we use on cloud version or desktop version, they are available to one another. If you want to, for example, um, share this project with colleagues or with customers, you can also export this for example, this list, you can export it to an Excel file or a PDF. If you export to PDF, you will have all the different information about this, uh, this unit. I'm not going to do it right now, but I can export to Excel. We can have, say that we are, that's our order list. We save it. And then we can basically work with this information on our Excel. So it's the same list. So as you can see, everything is displayed here. So I can just close this, save my document, and use it later. Um, so yeah, that's how easy it is to select your equipment. Uh, this is this video was just intended to show you the, the basics of the uh, selection tool. Um, but for more videos about selection tool, you can go here to options. There's a lot of information available online. And pressing on tutorials, it will take you to the tutorial, uh, to the website where you find all the tutorials. And also, it has a link for downloading the desktop version, as well as a link to the cloud version. So here you can see the tutorials about like basic basic functions um, you you can do, uh, displaying prices, migration, and as you see, these are all videos. So you can just play these videos and and uh, learn how to do it. And also a bit more complex uh, tasks. So we have, for example, plan configuration, option handling, uh, export to your portal. That's also a very nice uh, tool. Um, when you're done selecting your equipment, you can select, you can export uh, a file and open in your portal, and then you will have all the equipment available there, everything that you selected. Going a bit further up on the page. You can have, you can see the link to the cloud version. And you can, we can open the cloud version. So you see it's exactly the same tool. So here, this you can use anywhere. And it was specially designed for uh, tablets and mobile phones. So thank you very much for watching the video and good luck using selection tool.